What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Neo stock and what you should be looking after for the future. I'm also going to do some in depth technical analysis and talk about where Neo may end up going for its share price based off the price action we're seeing. I'm going to talk about what Elon Musk, the man, the myth, the legend Elon Musk, also said about the economy, about the stock market that's going to be massive for Neo, and also what's going on with tomorrow because tomorrow we have the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell speaking, and this will definitely affect Neo's price action. And I'm going to end of the video by talking about what Neo put on their Twitter page that's absolutely brilliant for the company. Now, before I talk about all of these things that are coming out for the markets that are huge, I do have to mention a couple of things just briefly. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Don't take any of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Neo community as a whole. And the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below low and deposit any amount of money into the account whether it's one dollar or a hundred dollars it's up to you you're guaranteed six free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars which you can always sell for cash and use that money to buy some new shares for free it's a limited time offer it ends in just nine days so please check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so Neo's up 9.1% for the day. I predicted yesterday that Neo would probably close around that 22 range. And I did think that Neo would fill the gap right here. See where this white line is right here. Neo ended up filling the gap and actually moving to the upside, which is a very good sign. However, there is something important we have to talk about for the next upcoming weeks because unfortunately, there is most likely going to be some bearish price action. I'm going to show you why it's very possible because Elon Musk talked about how uh, a U.S. recession is inevitable and, and it will probably come very soon. So what's interesting is he's talking about this as July is approaching and July happens to be the month that the second quarter GDP report comes out. And if you don't know why that's significant, it basically... Uh, for, for us to be in a recession, okay, we need two consecutive negative GDP reports, at least that's the typical way at which a recession would be measured, which shows some negative output in our GDP and our economy. So the first quarter of 2022 came out as negative. The second quarter is what we're waiting for. Is it going to be positive? Is, is it going to be negative? We're going to have to see. And Musk is saying that's very he says the recession is inevitable, meaning it will happen, but it, and it may end up happening soon. He thinks it's more likely to come soon. How soon is soon? That That's obviously ambiguous, but in my opinion, he could be definitely referring to the month of July. So if a recession is announced, the market is going to take a hit. And I really hate to say that. I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, but it is the uncomfortable truth. Now, when it comes to Elon Musk, we can see this right here. He's already making some business decisions that are changing the way in which Tesla's hiring. It's actually reducing some salaries. And on top of that, we're actually seeing that they're increasing a lot of their hours as well. So he, he's prepared for something big coming in our economy. It can affect the markets. Now, tomorrow, if we look at the Fed calendar on Wednesday, the 22nd, that's coming up, okay? 9.30 a.m., Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Fed, is going to be speaking. This is going to be important. He's going to be testifying. So this is important because when he talks like this before the committee, the banking, the U.S. Senate, and housing and urban affairs, he can make some big announcements and monetary policy changes. This is important because if he says something, it's going to cause the whole market to move. When he generally starts speaking, the market drops, okay? That's typically what happens. So tomorrow, we're probably going to drop into open because of this. And there are a lot of people, a lot of people in Congress, a lot of people left and right, a lot of people all over the place that are criticizing Jerome Powell for some of his steps towards inflation. Some people don't think his policies are working too well. And to me, say what you want. At the end of the day, what he says in response to that will affect the market. Is he going to kind of instill more fear? Is he going to be more dovish? We'll have to wait and see what he says, which is why tomorrow will be a massive day. So what's happening to Neo? As you can see, we ended up filling the gap at 22.46, like I predicted. And uh, right now, when we, we, we pushed up, we formed another gap on the way down, a big gap down here, which would take us down to that 20.89 range. So do I see more downside from here or are we going to keep pushing up? That, in my opinion, depends on what Powell says. Is he going to say something big that causes the market to tank? Or is he going to say something that causes the market to actually kind of continue to push up? It depends on what he says. If you look at the SPY. So far, the SPY has been trying to fill its gap that's like up here. 
and some people think it might actually fill this gap maybe it will later but right now what we're what we're essentially seeing is the spy also has a gap down and if something happens if powell announces something tomorrow it, it could actually start dropping and maybe get closer to filling this gap down here so if the spy and the nasdaq both do this because the nasdaq is very similar obviously a very similar setup it has this big gap down here too it didn't quite fill the gap on the way up all the, oh no it did fill the gap that's like right here but you can see there's another gap up here i was referring to hasn't filled this one just yet it did fill the one that's right here but we'll have to wait and see what the nasdaq does right right now there's a lot on the line so we'll have to wait and see how this goes for neo what i'm essentially seeing is there's going to be downside in the morning i i think there's going to be some downside with powell speaking neo is probably going to retrace down to that 22 dollar level maybe a little lower than that and it's possible we actually fill this gap down here tomorrow if powell announces something insane i don't i can't really promise that i like to be optimistic but going into tomorrow let's just say the market opens and let me actually zoom into this a little bit give me one second hold on so when, what i'm essentially trying to talk about is what could end up happening i'm not promising this but based off probabilities when we fill gaps like this seeing some downside after is not necessarily out of the works so into opening i think the market's going to kind of dump a little bit neo is going to drop to that 21 range maybe trade a little sideways and we might actually get a bounce it depends on what powell says and that's where things become important if we keep dropping if we actually drop to the maybe mid 21.5 dollar level and drop a little below that it's very possible if we don't hold 21.5 we're going to fill the gap down here and go to about 20.89 or 20.8 in that range now I'm not promising that. I don't know that for sure. It depends on what Powell says. But I just want to talk about why that's a very, very important level you got to be looking out for. But for the remainder of the day, I expect some choppy price action, some sideways action, maybe not too much. Remember, it depends on what Powell ends up saying. So it's going to be very important for the markets. But I do expect some choppy action and some uh, uh, bearish price action as to kind of drop a little bit when Powell starts speaking. Okay, that's typically what happens in the markets. Now, is this the end of the world? Does, does this mean Neo is dead? And the answer is no, 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 no. In the short term, yeah, we could be entering a recession. The market could take a hit. Maybe Neo's share price will drop. But at the end of the day, in the long term, by the next few months, next few years, I'm by next year, excuse me, I'm still very bullish. I do see the market recovering. I do see a squeeze like event for many small to mid cap stocks, especially like Neo. And I do see Neo making some parabolic moves to the upside and eventually breaking all time highs very, very soon. By very soon, I don't mean tomorrow or next week. I think it could take many months to another year. But at the end of the day, I'm still bullish. I'm still reaccumulating these shares at these levels. And just know that, look, Neo has an amazing, amazing, amazing base. Okay, they have amazing audiences. A lot of people love their company, their phones, um, not their phones, their cars, excuse me, their cars and everything like that. So it's incredible how much the community is growing. We could see during the New Year, the Lunar New Year 2022, Neo released a short film based off a true story from a new user named ping wang and we could see that this video was honored at the 101 first ad uh, adc annual awards in the silver cube i haven't heard of that but still a great honor and this is just a short story with this person known as ping wang and they made a video a, a mini movie about how neo has changed their life it's helped them reconnect with their family it's helped them really go to these different places they weren't able to access before it's incredible what a car could do and a lot of people tend to kind of trivialize that and forget about how huge this is as neo is not just a company it's a lifestyle it has a big brand and i just see it growing as they expand to other parts of the world and their cars improve especially their ai technology so with that said and done short term i am a little bearish i do think we could drop a little bit maybe get close to filling this gap but it does depend on, on what powell says so if he says something bullish we could actually bounce and push up but as of right now i think downside is more probable and for the long term i'm still very bullish guys so don't lose faith stay strong and remember to strategize do what you deem is best i'm not giving financial advice but that's out of the way thank you and i'll see you guys in the next one neo to the moon and peace out.